She had adopted Estella. It had to be Miss Havisham's intention to bring us together. She reserved it for me to restore the desolate house and do all the shining deeds of the young knight of romance and marry the princess. As I came to her, she shook her head, insisting she had no choice but to go to London. But I had to become the hero of this attractive mystery and found the means to rescue her. Dreaming master? Orlik? Come in, come in. Should I go see Miss Havisham? I don't know, should you? Are you expected? Miss Havisham, I heard that you wished to see me, and I came as quickly as I could. Who was this woman, this mysterious woman? So enchanting were her eyes, they could belong to no other than Estella. She had changed. Everything about her intriguing features seemed to be even more beautiful than I had remembered her. Well, has she changed a bit? Do you find her much change? Do you remember how proud and insulting she was? That was a long time ago. I must have been a very disagreeable child. Has he changed? Very much. Less coarse and common? <laughs> Yes. We sat in the dreamy room and I learned that Estella had just arrived from France and that she was going to London. Listening to her speak, I couldn't help but reflect on her presence. It was impossible for me to imagine my life without her, without my burning desire for her. So why don't you two go take a walk in the garden? Love her, Pip. If she favors you, love her. If she wounds you, love her. If she tears your heart to pieces, love her. I adopted her to be loved. I bred her and educated her to be loved. I developed her into what she is so she may be loved. Love her. You must know that I have no heart. I doubt that. I knew that there could be no such beauty without one. I'm serious. If I'm to see you in the future, you better believe me now. But I no, no. I haven't showed anyone tenderness. Not even you. What's the matter? Are you scared? I would be if I actually believed what you just said. Fine. Just remember what I told you. <laughs> ah, as punctual as ever. How are you, Pip? Ah, what a beautiful young lady. How often have you seen Miss Estella? Ten thousand times, would you say? Certainly not so many. Twice, then? Jaggers, leave my Pip alone. Go with him to your dinner. Very well. Come, Pip. Her words seemed to fill my mind, replaying again and again. Love her, Pip. If she favors you, love her. If she wounds you, love her. If she tears your heart to pieces, love her. I adopted her to be loved. I bred her and educated her to be loved. I developed her into what she is so she may be loved. Love her. And we're done. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hey. Was that good? Listen to it.